Hello everyone. For those of you that frequent my channel, good, glad to see you again. For those of you that are new here, glad to know you. Today I've hoped to have a really good video for you, uh, shooting the 223, but using a brand new powder by Winchester called Stay Ball Match. Now we're going to go in more into that in detail in a moment. The target is set up at 100 yards. Let's get to shoot. Now Winchester came out with Stay Ball Match a couple of years ago. There's not a heck of a lot of data on it. As a matter of fact, uh, the data that I'm using is directly off of Hodgton's website. Now it's supposed to have the same burn rate of Varget or their amount, at least on the burn rate chart. But it is a spherical powder, a ball powder, and according to the load density and case fill, it's a compact uh, for the 55 grain bullets, it's it's compacted. I've never had a ball powder be compacted and be worth a darn. But if you're the type of person that subscribes to load density and case fill for lower uh, standard deviations, lower extreme spreads, then we're going to test that out. The two bullets that I'll be testing today are both 55 grain. The 55 grain VMAX that everybody knows about. It's a great bullet for varmint hunting and the 55 grain Nosler Varmageddon. All right, don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna test it, you'll see it. Let me go turn the camera on down there. Let's get to shooting. Nice thing about testing 223 ammunition is there's generally only about two grains between starting load and max load. In this particular case, I'm starting right dead center in the middle because the max load, according to Hodgson's website, is 27 grains and out of my 24 inch barrel, it should be going 3200 feet per second. We're going to test that right Winchester now. Winchester Stay Ball Powder is supposed to be temperature stable, supposed to have a copper fouling eraser, a double based powder. Uh, I don't know how it's going to shoot. We're going to find out. Uh, it's about 88 degrees, winds blowing about six or seven miles an hour for those of you that like to he hear about environmental conditions. All right, here we go. Three shots. Lower left. Oh, 31, 34, okay. I'll take that for a starting load. Well, middle load. See how she groups. Thirty one forty one. Okay, go check that out, reset up. We're only going to go up a, a little bit now, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, that shot a little low, so I went ahead and adjusted my scope a little bit, uh, get a little closer, but you saw that group, uh, you know, we'll see. All right, I'm just going up three tenths of a grain now. We'll see what happens. Be the target right above the last one I shot. That last had an average of uh, 31, 35, not bad. Only about 100 feet per second slower than what's listed. Okay, I'm using brand new Starline brass. Winchester small rifle primers. All right, let's go check that out. Okay, certainly not anything to write home about. Uh, that last average was 31.45, but a real high 
standard deviation of 60. So, I don't know. Uh, that's why we test. All right, so here I'm going to the max listed load in Hornady's manual of 27 grains. Uh, we're a far away from 3200, but we'll see if three tenths of a grain can make that much of a difference. Sometimes it can. All right. Thirty-one ninety-five. Thirty-one seventy-seven. All right, a little bit better group, and that hit thirty-two oh two finally. All right, so let's move on to the uh, Nosler Varmageddon's. Uh, you know, I'll give you the summary at the end, but uh, I should be getting well over 3,300 with, well, I do that with most of my other powders like CFE 223, uh, Alliant uh, Varmint. Uh, all right, reset. Okay, now the Nosler. 55 grain Varmageddon. Now these are seconds and have pretty significant pull marks on them. But they only cost me eight cents a piece. So if you're kind of a purist, this might not be your party. But I'm going to be using the same powder loads, 26.4, 26.7, 27. Target on the right, let's get to shooting. Same case overall length as the uh, Hornadies. Okay, looks to be about three quarter inch group. 3188 on that last shot. All right, reset, redo. That was quite a bit better. Uh, average of 3174, SD of 15, extreme spread of 31. Okay, uh, it's nice to have a 24 power scope on here so that I can see the holes at 100 yards. Uh, if you think I shoot too fast, uh, that's what an MSR is for. Is to be able to stay on the rifle, not reposition your head or your body in any way, stay in the scope and go ahead and acquire a shot and shoot again. Uh, pretty nice that way. I've become a real fan. Okay, next target. Hey, let's go check that out. Seems to be opening up a little bit. Either that or pure shooter error. But that last shot was 3205 with these nozzlers. Great. Okay, reset for the final three. Okay, last three shots. Uh, that camera shut off down there, so I don't know if I'll be able to have a, a complete target picture for you. But uh, no matter what, we show you the targets at the end as usual. Okay, so here's max load. Uh, that last one, the standard deviation went up to 21, uh, but at least the speed went up. I'm still 100 feet per second lower than where I would be with CFE-223 or uh, Alliant, uh, you know, varmint powder, which is my favorite. All right, so let's go ahead and shoot.
Power Pro Varmint, <laughs> which I guess has been discontinued. Okay, looks like two out of three ain't bad. 3208 on that last one. Okay, let's uh, gather up the target, get all the data, and let's go over the target. Okay, here's your target over here on this side is the 55 grain VMAX with stay ball match. Uh, first three shots, uh, that's a half an inch from there to there. So I'd say that's probably every bit of an inch for that three shot group. And uh, the SD was 25, pretty high. Okay, then up here, uh, 3174, an SD of 35, and that's still about a one inch group, I'd say, maybe a little less. And then the best for last, it got up to 3194, and the SD came down to 12. But this is, this is a compacted load. I'm not comfortable with that, but the SD did come down, and that's, uh, oh, less than a three quarter inch group. Okay, then over here now the Nosler Varmageddon, it did a, quite a bit better than, and that was a surprise to me, than the VMAX did. Okay, first three shots, that's a little over half an inch, SD of 15, 3174, still uh, real slow. Okay, then 3180, the SD went up to 21 and the group increased to, again, that's a half inch from there to there, so that's a little, probably three quarters of an inch. All right, then the best for last, 3198 with an SD of 12, and that's a half inch group. Okay, folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check your subscriptions, please. Uh, give me a like if you thought I earned it, and uh, I'll see you next time, and God bless you all. Goodbye.